Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we are back for lesson two in FMS Logo. So, my friends, let's get cracking. To get our work from yesterday, I need you to double click the FMS Logo icon and then click File and choose Load. And when you choose Load, you may see your file immediately. If not, remember we put it in the Downloads folder. Click the choice and then you can click open so that your code is opened. Notice there's nothing on the screen to see your code. You need to click add all and that shows you the code we were able to save from yesterday. If for some reason your neighbor can't find theirs, help them quickly do file edit, type the word SQ and tell it OK, and then add the code for their square, do file save and exit, and then make sure when you're done you click file save. Remember, none of this saves to the cloud, so you need to always double check. Uh, when you're done today, make sure you do file save as, and instead of calling it day one, call it day two, just so that we've got an extra copy. If you save during the day, you can save as 2A, 2B, 2C, because it never hurts to have more copies of our work just in case something bad happens. Real quickly, check for your snipping tool too. If you don't have the snipping tool, remember that was type in SNI, and then right click on it and you need to choose pin to taskbar since mine is here it says unpin but make sure everybody has that because you've got to turn in a screenshot when you're done with today's lesson once again if your neighbors are freaking out because it's blank have them click add all and prove that our square is available the fun spinny stuff that does not come back but we'll learn how to make that later all right ladies and gentlemen we've moved around with forward and back and right and left at this point, I want to teach you about a cool command called set x, y. x and y are coordinates where x is right and left and y is up and down. I'd like you to type set x, y with a space after it, and I'd like you to type the number 233, space, and then let's do a 65. When you press enter, check it out, that turtle instantly moved over 233 up 65 measured from 0 which is home instantly I'd like you to press SQ and make a square there and then I would also like you to click on your old set XY and then this time instead of going to the right which is what positive numbers do I would like you to tell it to go to the left which is what negative numbers do watch this BAM from 0 it went left 233 up 65 still because we kept that number the same at this point I'd like you to make another square and then I'd like you to use a new command I would like you to type home that is how you tell it to go to zero we're gonna make another square right there and then this time I would like you to go left but instead of 233 let's go to 86 and instead of 65 up I want you to go negative 44 turtle's going to go left a bunch and down a bunch because they're both negative. Draw your square and then at this time I want to go right and down. Remember the first number is X so to make it go right we change that to a positive number and I'm going to make it 156 and I'm going to make it down 34. When we press enter check it went to a different height and we do our final square. When you have your screen looking like this or really close to this, I do not care about the lines that are going across. Please call me over and show me the cool stuff that you made. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have got a new gift for you. Look at what I am typing right here. You'll notice those are only two letters, but look what they did. Instead of that big, long word clear screen, I'm giving you the shortcut, which is CS. Check out the letters I'm typing down here. What do you think that stands for? You got it forward 50 you can type FD instead of the big long forward I mean think about it how many of you have misspelled forward and saw the system say I don't know how to spell forward without the R this is your shortcut well if you can do forward guess what RT is right LT is left this time instead of doing left 90 I'm gonna do something crazy like left 45 uh, if I can do forward, guess what? I can also do back, which is BK. I'm going to do back with a crazy number. I'm going to do 86 instead of my 50s and 90s. I'm going to do left 90. I'm going to do forward 100. 
I would like you to make something quick and dirty on your screen like this that moves all around. And then I'd also like you to use one word that does not have a shortcut. That is home. But it is an awesome command that takes us back to zero, zero. Get your screen looking like that. Make sure you know those shortcuts. Because from now on, I may say forward, but I always mean for you to be smart and use the cool little shortcuts. After you've practiced your shortcuts, clear the screen and continue with the next step. All right, we have made a square and we've played on the screen. At this time, I need you to make another word. Click File and choose Edit. And our new word is going to be Try, which stands for triangle. Notice I did T-R-I, not T-R-Y. It's got to be T-R-I uh, or it won't make sense later. Like I told you earlier, press Enter after the I. So you've got your top slice of bread and your bottom slice of bread. And these are the commands I want you to type for our triangle. We're going to do right 90, we're going to do forward 50, press enter, we're going to do left 135, and we're going to do forward 45. We're going to do left 90 degrees, and we're going to do forward 45. And then this one is special, we end it with pen up, home, pen down. You have not learned pen up and pen down yet, but I will explain those in a bit. Right now you're just going to type them in, and you're going to trust me. Uh, do file save and exit. And then back on this screen, let's use our shortcut for clear screen. And then we're going to use a special command called hide turtle. H-I-D-E-T-U-R-T-L-E. -E. And notice that gets rid of the little turtle uh, that's kind of in our way for this next part. So with our screen like this, and if you've misspelled turtle, make sure you double check and spell it like that. Uh, maybe you're smart enough to figure out that H-T is the same as hide turtle. Um, then I want you to type cs space tri so that just guarantees the screen is clear and it draws our triangle notice our triangle looks pretty nice but it's too big this side and this side missed the center so that it isn't perfect that i did that intentionally so that i could teach you how to edit all right editing looks like this we click file edit just like we did the first time but instead of making a new procedure we click on our old procedure. I told you that these sides were too big. So what you need to do is you need to make them both something different. I'm going to tell you to make them both 20. Remember to leave the 50 alone because I'm guaranteeing you it's perfect. But we'll do file save and exit. We'll go back to our same CS space try and check it out this time. Size 20 size are way too small. All right, and I did that again intentionally. I showed you that 45 was too big, and I showed you that 20 was too small because now I want you to find the perfect number in between 20 and 45 that these need to be. Every time you change it, like just for kicks, I'm going to change it to 25, and prove to you that 25 is not a smart choice. When I do file, save, and exit, I come back out and I try it, and watch, this is going to move over about that much. See how it adjusted? You need to adjust this until you make yours look perfect. And when I say perfect, I pretty much mean like this. If it has that little jaggy line right there, that's great. So this is what you're aiming for. Um, if you do 0.5, you can get it to be exactly straight, but I'm flexible. I don't mind the jaggy. So right now, I want you to get to work in your triangle, and when you have it perfect like that, please call me over with the call light and show me what you've done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have got a new command for you. It is show turtle. T-U-R-T-L-E. Now the turtle comes back, and probably you're smart enough to figure out that we could have also done ST, which would be the shortcut. I'm going to do a plain clear screen and like I promised you a moment ago I'm gonna teach you about pen up right now though before I do pen up I'm gonna type forward 50 now some of you'll look at that and say oh it's going up the screen this was an up direction for our heads but we need to learn that for logo that's just forward because that's where his nose is pointing I tell you that because now I'm gonna type the word pen up notice nothing goes up the screen what happens is the pencil comes off the screen watch this I'm gonna type forward 20 and I could have typed any number I just chose a distance of 20 and now because the pen was up off the screen no mark 
I'm going to tell it pen down. And this time I'm going to tell it forward 50. Notice now the pen was down, so when it moved, it drug the pen. I'm going to tell it left 90. I'm going to use my shortcuts. So now this is where forward is. And I'm going to tell it pen up, but I'm going to use the shortcut for pen up. And I want to tell it forward 65, just because it sounds fun. I'm going to do the shortcut for pen down, and I'm going to tell it forward 100, just because I want to. When you've got your screen with three lines with gaps between them, because the pen up happened at those points, I'd like you to please type home and call me over to show me your cool screen. Good job, and let's keep rolling. All right, let's actually make our first uh, cool thing on the screen that we may want to keep. I would like you to use your square and your triangle to draw a house. Think of the commands that you've learned so that you can put the triangle where you want and make it look like a house on your screen. When you think you've got a house on the screen, uh, turn on the call light so I can come see what you've created. Remember, you're using your square and your triangle to make it look like a house. Um, remember, if you do height turtle, it's kind of nice because that looks more like a triangle. And then you can do ST for show turtle to bring it back. So, get it looking like a house and call me over to see what you did. Alright, remember, if you have not made a house on your screen, uh, you're not supposed to be watching this movie. But if you have been approved and got the thumbs up by showing your house, then it's time to create a new word called house. Uh, make sure that your house looked like this, um, where you drew the square, and you put the roof on top uh, like that, using some magic commands that I cleared uh, that you uh, can't see. But... um. Just remember you've got the ability to move the turtle so that you can make it look like that. If you've got it like that, then I need you to create a new word by doing file edit. I need you to call that word house. And in the word house, I need you to click enter and remember your commands were square. And then you should have figured out it was forward 50. And then it was try. That's how you make it look like a house. And uh, just to make sure our stuff turns out fine, we always end the, this command with pen up home and then pen down so the turtle's ready for the next part of the project. Do file save and exit, do your clear screen, and when you type house, make sure that that lovely little house draws. Alright, when you've got it like this and you've typed CS house so that you showed me you've created the code to draw the little house, make sure you do file save as, and then I'm going to save this as 2B just so I've got extra copies of my work. Then grab your snipping tool when the snipping tool pops up make sure you choose next and I want a snip that shows the little house and the code that you type to launch it when you've got that click the sweet little blue disk and then remember we went to the downloads folder and you may have created a logo folder if you did go in it and this is capture day two when you've got that captured you can close the little window and of course you need to go to Google Classroom. When you get to Google Classroom, go to your Classwork tab. Notice you can see the ones that are done because they were gray and you turned in your assignment. Here's lesson two that is not done. I'm gonna hit View Assignment. I need to add a file. And when I click Add a File, we can do the Select trick and just go to that Downloads folder. Notice mine already remembered it. But if not, it was downloads, and then I stored mine in logo, and there is my day two lesson. Always remember to hit upload, and then also make sure you wait long enough to hit the turn in button. Once you hit turn in, you are good to go. And you can spend a minute making sure that your neighbors are successful as well. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit the like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.